Well, welcome back. What do you think of when you think farmer's market? Probably fresh corn, tomatoes, fruits, vegetables, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the Hancock County Farmer's Market in Finley is so much more than mm -hmm. that. And Scott Green Earth has the invitation and details this morning. And uh, it looks it so looks great. delicious. It just smells fresh. great, too. And this is just a sample of what oh, you yeah. all have at the market. And uh, it's coming up on Thursday. Indeed. It's every Thursday, May through October. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we have this Thursday. We have the uh, third Thursday of the mm -hmm. month, so that's extra special. A big but one. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. We get more community involvement at mm -hmm. it, which we strive for anyway every mm -hmm. week. But, but yeah, so hitting on some of the key things there, that one nice thing is that this year we've uh, put in a lot of effort into getting access for even more people to fresh herb, sure. fruits, herbs, vegetables, all mm -hmm. that. So with that, like at the market, we have our... Um, it's Snap EBT, which this is the token people would get for that when it comes okay. to the market. So people come to the welcome uh, canopy at the market. They can go ahead and come with their Ohio Direction card, get that loaded on there, and go out and shop to get some good fresh produce. Because I feel like, you know, it's expensive, right? The the fresh fruits and vegetables, Not, people feel like it can be, right? One good thing is, even when prices spike so high mm -hmm. for fuel, this stuff wasn't being transported. But, go. like, I mean, literally, someone, some of these folks could literally ride their bike over to mm -hmm. the market with their goods. Wow. So that yeah. kind of helps. So that's fresh. You haven't <laughs> seen the wild fluctuation in prices Good. there. But, but sometimes it's access. Access mm -hmm. can be an that's issue sometimes. Mm -hmm. Steve, that's what we're working on with mm -hmm. this. Exactly, because we know there are people out there who no matter what the price is, it's hard for them. Mm -hmm. And while I wish they just didn't have to struggle in the first place, yeah. we want to make sure that there are the support's there for mm -hmm. it. Wonderful. So our partners with United Way, uh, the uh, OSU Extension, and uh, the... Um, uh, uh, oh gosh, the uh, blah, 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 blah. Financial Opportunity <laughs> Center, He's Habitat for Humanity. There you go. I had to look at the notes. It's a long name. They all helped to make it possible to do this. So I'll take the token. So okay, so know that you know yeah. you've got you've got that snap. Uh, you can use it there at the market. And you can go even further because mm -hmm. up to twenty five dollars additional can get loaded onto that card through the Produce Perks program. Oh, wow. oh cool. So further making sure that it is affordable for people to come out and participate. Really working to make things accessible. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really oh, yes. nice. And. Uh, uh, these uh, vegetables and fruit look really good. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus the local honey as well. So <laughs> yeah. it's just so much to offer. You're not kidding. It is really cool. And then another one of our partners that we've had for, oh, I forgot to put those there. I have to worry about it. That's okay. They're up we here too. We need tokens. You got it. Yeah, the tokens. I forgot to leave them on here. Power <laughs> produce I like program. the pink ones. These are cute. They are cute. <laughs> and they're actually made through recycled material. So on top oh, of that. Really? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you got to reuse. Indeed. So they are, this is Power Produce. It's brand new this year. And uh, this is again with our partner Blanchard Valley Health System that mm -hmm. made it possible. The great folks here, they've been partnering with us for years down the market. And this, with this, we have kids from ages four to 15 that get up to $4 and get, get $4 from mm -hmm. these tokens to go and spend it on the fresh produce there at the market. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool because the idea is to get kids introduced to good healthy food yes. and to let them have the power of purchasing. Yes. So it's so cool to see their faces just light up and go, I get to go <laughs> spend this money at the market. I and they'll come back proudly, I right. got a bag of cherries. Right. <laughs> and, or some of these kids are way smarter than me. You don't have to spend all four bucks in one shot. And That's some kids true. are like, I'm going to put that one away and right? spend it on a big old watermelon when they're ripe in a couple more uh -huh. weeks. So Using they're learning about noggins. the seasonal nature mm -hmm. of these things. So Power Produce has been a wonderful hit and there And then you again. do something with seniors, too. They can use their um, yes. the senior program? Seniors Market mm -hmm. Nutrition Program, so they can get the token or the um, certificates and come out with those. This is an, actually not a brand new thing. We've been doing this since almost mm -hmm. the beginning because that's a relatively easy. Mm -hmm. So we go through with that, and they can go ahead and use that to go ahead and purchase some good items. So that would be the sure. honey, fresh produce, um, and cut herbs. So definitely when you talk about access, we've got yeah, seniors, oh we've got kids, we, we've yes. got everybody covered here who can come out and just get delicious food. All this good yes. stuff. But you've got other stuff too yeah. that you won't eat. Yeah, but so definitely great. not. Yes, not, <laughs> not everything. Not everything is intended for eating. So we've got Crimson Alchemy here. Corey put those that, the, the soaps, uh, most of which of those are even vegan on top of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, using natural um, ingredients in there. They smell so cool. And boy, they're just incredibly fun to look at. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So pass me a bar. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. There you go. This is my favorite <laughs> one. Oh, this yeah. One my, my approved. Yeah, I really like Vegan that one. Steven. 
Yeah, yeah, real nice. This, um, yeah, this is probably more masculine. This is more. I just like yeah. Carrie. Yeah. They all absolutely, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah, are. carry this in your pocket. You smell good at all. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Very absolutely. Cool. And I love the the woodwork here. Oh, Justin is an amazing woodworker. He's uh, the things he creates, all kind of functional items for around the kitchen, including things that are more decorative. Um, but you know, the key thing we love the functional stuff in the kitchen. So charcut charcuterie boards, Gotta cutting have boards, it. bowls. All all kinds of cool things, bottle openers. So yeah, he's amazing. Steven's checking out the bread over oh, here. Yeah, you got it from the bread, bread absolutely. This looks well. so good. Yeah. This is called it volcano is bread. Volcano amazing. bread. Amazing. So okay, mm. so volcano bread, I have to go to my notes to remember all the details <laughs> on it. It's so cool, it's wrapped with uh, Gouda and oh, a variety of yum. herbs in there. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one is a cinnamon babka, which is an Eastern European bread, mm -hmm. kind of like a brioche, mm -hmm. and it's layered with cinnamon and sugar and twisted into a decorative loaf. Look at the, and the that cool almost extra, looks too good to eat. I know. And the extra <laughs> cool thing is that's uh, Steve is who does that baking there is retired, and he also he and his wife also run the Quarry Farm in Pandora, which is a uh, farm animal rescue and mm -hmm. sanctuary, and they have a nature preserve there wow. as well. So they all do all kinds of cool stuff with all their spare time wow. that they have. Wow, yes. good for them. They Kind of retired people. They make the food look cool. Oh, he well. knows. He knows that what is he's really, doing. Yeah. Really, really cool. And I always grab when one of the first things <laughs> I grab when I go to the farmers market is grab that honey and uh, the berries and everything as you mentioned yeah. in season. So it you're is. gonna get stuff really, really fresh you no got matter which week. The you Lawrence come. place with the berries there and the beans over here and his tomatoes. And then uh, B and M Farm has got the. Uh, the peppers there, and then the herbs, which is an amazing, I love just sticking my nose in right? the middle yeah. of that. Yeah. It's an amazing blend, so that is, had to add it all up there. That is sage, mint, parsley, and basil, all. Oh. And they smell amazing together. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it was together. just what he happened they, to have available. They work all together. So, okay, tell us when and where the market At is. Downtown Finley, uh, 200 West Main Cross Street, mm -hmm. and right in the heart of downtown Finley there, except for one day, we're August the 17th, we're gonna have to move temporarily for that one day, but we're there every Thursday, four o'clock to six o'clock and again this Thursday is our third Thursday with community partners like Blanchard Valley Health System would be out there with information, Open Arms, Hancock Public Health, Financial Opportunity Center, Children's Museum of Finley, Parkinson's Awareness, Focus and Loft. Wow, so it really day. is a community yes. event, is. especially on those third Thursdays but all the time and everybody is welcome. Look at it, Love it. looks amazing. It does. Thank you so much for coming today. Very gladly. Yes, yes. And we've got more good day to come. Yes.